Hello, I'm Don Hickman, and this is I Am Springfield, a program where we explore the Simpson spirit of Springfield, Illinois, and discuss why it is that our Springfield really is the official Simpsons hometown. To that end, we would like to present our very own comic book guy, Zach Atchison. Zach, why do you think it is that our Springfield is the Springfield of the Simpsons? Well, Kent, that's Don. Whatever. A quick perusal of the episodes will clearly prove to anyone without any doubt that Springfield, Illinois is indeed the home of the Simpsons. Consider, if you will, the list. In episode FAB F08, the Ziff who came to dinner, there's a couch gag where our point of view shifts from the Simpsons' home into outer space, clearly showing that the Simpsons' house is located in the heart of Illinois. In episode 3F13, Lisa the Iconoclast, Lisa and the museum curator dig up the remains of Jebediah Springfield. They dump the dirt on the eternal flame of Adelaide Stevenson. Stevenson is buried in Bloomington, Illinois. Zach, uh, Adelaide Stevenson is also referenced Zach, in we'll check back with Zach later. Now let's take a brief time out for a Simpsons spirit moment. My favorite episode was when the little girl was singing on the stage. My favorite character is probably the mom because I like her wacky hairdo. <laughs> if you don't love the Simpsons, then you have problems. Who is that guy? Daddy. <laughs> So where are you from? Springfield. Springfield, Illinois. Springfield, Illinois. The home of the Simpsons. Springfield, Illinois. Yes. Home of the Simpsons. Home of the Simpsons. You've heard of us. Say hi to Marge. I will. Thank you. I understand the BBC recently did a survey and Homer Simpson was ranked the greatest American, followed by number two, Abraham Lincoln, both being from Springfield, Illinois. I reckon when it comes to Homer Simpson, I'm quite happy to be considered the second greatest American. What do you think about that, Zach? Uh, speaking of Lincoln, in episode 8F11 Radio Bart, a squirrel resembling Lincoln was assassinated, just like Lincoln was assassinated. Uh, Springfield is the land of Lincoln and squirrels. Now it's time to play Guess That Simpsons Character. Give me a duff, Mo. You'll have a rum and buzz or you'll have nothing at all, Toots. $10. Thank you, come again. Let's check back in with our number one fan. Abu is trying to become a citizen. Homer points to a map to show him Springfield. Although his hands covering Springfield, Decatur and Chicago, Illinois are clearly legible. Uh, now, as always, we want to bring a balanced perspective to everything, so we present a dissenting voice. Sir, what is it that you would like to say about Springfield's Simpsons spirit? Simpsons spirit? Simpsons spirit? I've got Simpsons spirit coming out of my ears. That premiere should be in Springfield, Illinois because Matt Groening owes us, man. He doesn't even hire his own writers. He just puts crap in the water and then makes us act all whacked out and watches us through his spy satellite and then writes everything down. I don't really think anything unsavory is in the Springfield water system. Oh, really? Then what about all these three-eyed fish? All the weird stuff in Springfield, it's fox and groaning, man. It's like this yellow paint they sent. What do they want us to do with this paint? What's yellow in the Simpsons? It's the people, they want us to paint the people! I can't believe that fox would harm innocent women and children. Oh, really? Check this out. Look, like I told you, it's all about the water, cranial mutations. You know, a little boy's head crossed with a meat tenderizer might be cute for a while, but this show's been on forever. And real people grow up. They grow up. Look, they may be a freak. See you, Lois, man. Please, you've got to have the premiere here. If you don't, then I'll just have a cow. That's what I'll do. I'll have a cow, man. Yeah, and you can, uh, you can eat my shorts. You can just... Well, no, uh... Uh, I think that's about all the time we have for tonight's I Am Springfield broadcast. Have you ever seen the sun set at 3 p.m.? Excellent. <laughs>